It's the 10th of October 2018 and I'm at Tavistock Goose Fair with Gypsy Acora, Claire Bond. Gypsy Acora, how are okay. you? Getting there after a very busy day. And you're at Tavistock? I've been coming to Tavistock now I, ever since I was born. Yeah. I was born on the road and I've been coming here. This is one of the oh, one of the few fairs yes. that I've never missed. Uh -huh. And I'm now 70 so I've been coming okay. here all these years. But I'm now going to slow down. I think I'm going to make this the last fair. Yeah. And then go back into the shop and stay and just work the shop. Yeah. Cause I'm been, getting too old now. It's been a very intense day, isn't it? Yeah. And, and, and this ain't the fair it used to be. It yeah. used to be oh, full of character. Yeah. Well, it's still, people are telling me it's only half the fair it used to be. It, it it's used only on to one be. side of the street, though. It used to be on yeah. both sides, apparently. That's right. That's right. And you used to get all the gypsy people dancing in the bloody streets or in the pubs, yeah. having a drink and doing the old tap dancing. Yeah. All finished. It's all gone. So how long have you been a clairvoyant? Uh, I, I took over from me mum and me gran. Yeah. Me gran used to come here yeah. and I had her pitch. Uh -huh. She was called Madame Zambra. Yes. And her pitch was further up the road. And I used to have her pitch, but then I got a bigger trailer and I come down here. I think you've got somebody at the door, just a minute. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, when you think of it and you go back all those years, yeah. it was a different fair to what it used to be. Yeah. But everything changes. So how do you become a clairvoyant? I was taught, I, I, I'm more of a palmist. Yes. I'm more of a palmist. My grandmother used to take me out walking with her and she used to say, see that old stinging nettle? That is ruled by Mars. And she would tell me things like that. And at night she'd say, that red planet up there is Mars. That's what I was telling you about today. Yes. Then my mother used to tell me the lines. This line is a lifeline. And so it went on yeah. like that. So it was all, um, I in those days, I wish now, I wish now I had a recorder, because at the time I used to think about these bloody old women keep on this and telling me that. And it's all I, history. Yeah, and I used to think I don't want to listen to it, but now I wish I did listen to it more. Yeah. Because they used to tell me all the herbs and spices and things for people's illnesses. Yeah. All gone. So what age did you get uh, start doing? The I meetings? was I was a. Uh, roughly, roughly, I was about seven, eight. Yeah. When my mother used to say, "Come up and sit up here, and read the lady's hand, and I'll guide you through." Yeah. Uh, I was about seven or eight, but it wasn't till I was about sixteen that I left me mum and I went on my own. Yeah. I went to a place called Rail. I know Rail very well. Up it's in my North territory. Wales, yeah. Because I, I was brought up uh, in the sand dunes at Prestatyn was my childhood, where I yeah. used to run around in the sand yeah. dunes there. Yeah, of course. Prestatyn Sands. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. But I, it, there used to be Woolworths on the main street, and next to Woolworths was a little hut. Yes. And I used to rent that hut for a tenner a week. Yeah. And I used to sit in there and read hands. And in those days, I used to charge half a crown. Yeah. Cool. What, what, what <laughs> difference now? So you've been all over the world? Yeah, I've been all over travelling. Yeah. But I think I've had, I've had, me, I've had the cream. Have you I'm met all the left, stars I'm as left well? with the milk. Now. Yes. And you met all yeah. the stars? Done all the stars, yeah, you name them. I've done them. Shirley Bassey. Yeah. What, oh, I had a letter once and I couldn't read the letter and it come from Brazil. Yeah. And I thought to myself, whoever is this from? So I said to my wife at the time, I said, read that letter, read, tell me who it's from. He, she read it and she said, oh, it's difficult to read. It's about something to do with dancing. Yeah. And you told her in a horoscope that she would dance before the Queen. Yeah. And then she went on to carry on reading. Oh, she said, I can see who it is. It's from a lady called Dame Margot Fontaine. Crumbs. Yeah, that was some time back. So, how long have you been in the Barbican in Plymouth? I've been on the Barbican now about, uh, I would say, 53 years. It's a long time. Long time. It's been a lot of changes. 
another one you've got to adapt to changes down there yeah. years ago it was all shops yeah now it's either restaurants or pubs yeah i'm one of the few shops that's not a restaurant not yeah. a pub so they're all different thanks a lot for your time god bless you thanks. and the best of luck to you i was going to say good luck for you yeah <laughs> cheers thank you you can find Gypsy Cora at 27 South Side Street, Plymouth, PL1, 2LD. Telephone 01752 221711. This has been a Crystal Muffield video 2018. You can contact me at ccsphoto12 at hotmail.com. And if you can help to sponsor my videos, you can pay right. me at ccsphoto1 at gmail.com. Don't forget to subscribe to my videos.